Disney Pixar Elementra, E-L-E-M-E-N-T-E-A-L, in theaters June 16th. Only in theaters June 16th. Good morning from Hollywood Happenings. Today, we are walking up to see the former home of Bobby Sherman during his teen idol days. It's where he lived before he bought his home in Encino, off of Sunset Plaza Drive. Now here's just some of the sights that you see as you walk up from Sunset Boulevard and Sunset Plaza Drive up the street to the 1800 block of Sunset Plaza Drive. Just a few of the sights and sceneries that you can see. Some house being remodeled. Uh, the end of Hollywood Boulevard. This is just so the beauty that you see looking throughout LA. I think it's looking in the direction of downtown LA in this particular lecture. View. Again, we're on the way to see uh, the former home of Bobby Sherman in the Hollywood Hills off of Sunset Boulevard. Now, uh, Robert Cabot Sherman Jr., better known as Bobby Sherman, known professionally, uh, was an American. Was an American retired paramedic, police officer, singer, actor, and occasional songwriter who became a teen idol in the late 1960s and early 1970s. He had a series of successful singles, notably the One Million Seller Little Woman. He was born in 1943, 79 years old. He was born in Santa Monica, California. He's currently married to Bridget Sherman. He married her in 2011 and previously was Patty Cordell from 1971 to 1979. His sister's Darlene Mack, and he's 5'9". Still walking up the hill, headed toward the former home of Bobby Sherman. In 1962, Sal, Sal Mineo wrote two songs uh, for Bobby Sherman, as well as arranging for Sherman to record the songs in 1964, when Mineo asked Sherman to sing with his old band at the Hollywood party, where many actors and agents were in attendance. Sherman was signed with an agent and eventually landed a part on the ABC uh, television show Shindig as a regular cast member and house singer. former home of Bobby Sherman. Now, during his early career, he made uh, several records with Decca and another smaller label and was featured in teen magazines. In early 1968, was selected but for the role of a bashful, slammer, stammering logger. Jeremy wrote on the ABC television series, Here Comes the Bride, from 1968 to 1970. As of 1970, Bobby Sherman has received more fan mail than any other performer on the ABC network. We made it up the hill. I can actually show you some pictures of the way it used to look. Here's as a kid that band member and an episode of the monkeys titled Monkeys at the Movies, playing a pauperous surfer singer named Frankie Katrina in the vein of Frankie Avalon performing the song The New Girl in School and the flip side of Jan and Dean's Dead Man's Curve. Uh, Sherman released 107 songs, 23 singles, and 10 albums between 1962 and 1976. In his recording career, he earned seven gold singles and one platinum single, five gold albums. He had 
a career total of top 40 hits in 1969. He signed with Metro Media Records. 19, May of 1969, he released his single Little Woman, which peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, number two in Canada, and spent nine weeks in the top 20 and sold over one million copies and was awarded a gold disc by the RIAA in October of 1969. Other hits included Julie, Julie, you love me, Easy Come and Easy Go, Jennifer, La La La, If I Had You, Hey Mr. Son, Cried Like a Baby, Waiting at the Bus Stop, La La La, it's just a few of his other hits. This is the house that's located next door to where he lived. Definitely been remodeled. Now, Sherman toured extensively uh, through the United States and the world and support of his records and albums. He gave many concerts to sell out crowds of mostly screaming young women from the late 1960s to the mid-1970s. The screaming of the young women was so loud that Sherman experienced tearing loss. Now, te his television career included was a regular star on the ABC television network Here Come the Brides from September 21st, 1968 to April 3rd, 1970. The series was closely based upon the Mercer Girls Project Asia Mercer's effort to bring civilians to old Seattle in the 19, 1860s by importing marriageable women from the East Coast cities of the United States where the ravages of the American Civil War left these, those towns short of men. Bobby Sherman played the youngest brother, Jeremy Bolt. Sherman was a frequent guest on the American Bandstand and Where the Action Is. 1971 episode of the Barbara Spanish featured Bobby Sherman. Uh, and he'd been a guest star on the Ed Sullivan Show, the American Bandstand, the Study and Cheer Show, KTLA Morning News, visiting the Huell Household, PBS Good Day, LA, the Rosie O'Donnell Show, Good Morning America, the Tonight Show, uh, with both Johnny Carson and Jay Leno. He featured Bob Sherman was a regular cast member of the television show, Sanchez of Bel Air. In 1998, after 25 year absence, fans returned to see Sherman and Concha as part of the Teen Idol tour with Peter Noon and Davy Jones Monkey member Mickey Dolans replaced Davy Jones on tour in 1999. Sherman performed his last concert to date as a solo performer in Lincoln, Rhode Island on August 25th, 2001. Although retired from public life, he still appeared at corporate and charity events. He was ranked number eight in TV Guides, a list of TV's top. 25 Greatest Teen Idols on the January 23rd, 2005 issues. Nell Sherman guest starred in an episode of Jack Webb television series Emergency Fool Season 3, Episode 17, uh, January 19th, 1974. He found it a new calling. Eventually, he left the public spotlight and became an emergency medical technician, EMT. He volunteered with the Los Angeles Police, Police Department working with Pat American giving CPR and first day classes, he officially became a technical reserve police officer with the Los Angeles Police Department in 1990s, a position he still held as of 2017. <clears throat> For most of the decade, he served as a medical training officer in the Los Angeles Police Academy, instructing thousands of police officers in first aid at CPR. He was named LAPD's Reserve Officer of the Year in 1999. Sherman became a reserve deputy. Sheriff in 1999 with the San Bernardino County Sheriff Department continuing his CPR emergency training. A new deputy hire Sherman retired from the Sheriff's Department in 2010. 
Sherman and his wife co-founded the Bridget and Bobby Sherman Children's BBSC Foundation. The foundation's mission is to provide motivated students in Guyana with a high quality education and music program providing tools per, to pursue higher education. 1870 Sunset Plaza Drive with a two bedroom, three baths, 4,502 square foot house located in the Los Angeles area. Acreage is 0 0.5061. Property class is single family residence with a pool. Now, Bobby Sherman was born to parents Robert Cabot Sherman Sr. and Juanita Nee Freeman Sherman in Santa Monica, California. He grew up in Van Nuys, California with his sister Darlene. He published accounts in Published accounts that indicate that Sherman's relationship with Salvinia was personal as well as professional. Sherman, the first wife, Betty Cordell, the couple had two sons, Christopher and Tyler, before they divorced. Sherman married Bridget Roblin on June 18th of 2010 in Las Vegas, Nevada. An episode season four of The Simpsons called Brother from the Same Planet, Lisa Simpson developed an expensive crust called a 900 heartthrob, uh, known as Corey, loosely based on Corey Feldman. But her mother all attempted to sympathize with Lisa by relating her girlhood crush on Bobby Sherman. Lisa uh, repeatedly snickers and ridicules her. The view overlooking Hollywood, Los Angeles. Outside of the former home of Bobby Sherman, teen idol from the 60s and 70s. Today we're at the former home of Bobby Sherman in Hollywood Hills. Now, Bobby Sherman uh, built a miniature of the Main Street Disneyland. He made a call to uh, Disneyland. They said they helped help him out with uh, measurements and that. He was thinking it's going to take him three months. And two and a half years later, he has uh, had the product completed. This is at his Encino home. Now it's been 30 years, but this was the back of the former home of Bobby Sherman. Straight up this way, with a full vlog. Pictures from 30 years ago. Subscribe to YouTube. Former home of Teen Idol Bobby Sherman. Yep, the street. Uh, he was also a regular on for 13 episodes on Sanchez and Bel Air. Black's Magic, one episode. This was 1986 for those two. Off Rachel was 1997. Murder She Wrote, 1985. Get Crazy, uh, Mark, 1983. The Love Boat episode, he was on two episodes of Love Boat. And from 1978 to 1982, The Misadventures. Uh, 1981, one episode, Fantasy Island, one episode in 1981, The Gossip Colonist, 1980, Flying High, one episode, Jigsaw John, one episode, Ellery Queen, one episode, He Is My Brother, 1975, Emergency, one episode, T uh, Skyway to Death, uh, TV movie by Barney Miller in 1974, Old Faithful TV movie, 1973, Bot Squad, two episodes of 1972, Kate's County, Kate's County, uh, one episode, 1972. We're actually, it's going, the view going down the hill from where the former home of teen idol Bobby Sherman used to be. Getting together 14 episodes 1971 to 1972, The Parcher Family, one episode 1971, Here Come the 
Prize, 52 episodes, Wild in the Streets, 1968, The FBI, 1 episode, The Monkeys, 1 episode, FBI was 1968, Monkeys, 1967, <coughs> Honey West was 1965. And he was also a regular on this uh, Shindex series. Now, Bobby Sherwood was born on July 22nd, 1943, in Santa Monica, California. He married Bridget Publin, March 17th of 2011. And official works include that on September 6, 1974, performed at the Ohio State Fair along with Doc Severinsen. A fun fact, he's a qualified EMT, Sherman joined the LAPD in 1988 as a specialist officer training police recruits in first aid and CPR. A hit television program, Shindig, at the Housing of 1964 to 1966. After it was canceled, he did guest support uh, appearances in shows like The Monkeys, Honey West, and The FBI before starring in his breakout role in Here Comes the Bride from 1968 to 1970. He also performed in an episode of The Partridge Family, which was used as a pilot for the spin-off series Getting Together in 1971, which ran for 13 episodes. Uh, in the 1980s, he was a regular on the short-lived Sanchez of Bel-Air. Uh, Bobby was promoted to captain of the Los Angeles Police Department, where he taught CPR and life-saving techniques to incoming Academy recruits for a few years. He was also one of the members of the Teen Idol Tour, which also included Peter Noon, Davy Jones, and then later Mickey Dolan's. Replacing Jones, Bobby is the father of two grown sons, both of them following in their father's famous footsteps into the music industry. He was married, uh, currently married to uh, Bridget Publin, which he married on March 17th of 2011, and Patricia Ann Carnell, September 26, 1971, until September 1977, when they divorced, they have two children. Hello, this is a view from the walking up to uh, Bobby Sherman's former home in the Hollywood Hills part of Hollywood uh, near the Sunset Strip on Sunset Plaza Drive. This is just some of the apartments, uh, residences of Sunset, uh, Sunset Plaza. That's just about six or seven blocks from where the former home of Bobby Sherman was. So showing you some of the sights and scenes on the way up and down from the former home of Bobby Sherman. Now, if you haven't read the uh, Bobby Sherman's autobiography, I would definitely get the book. It's a must read. You might find out things that you didn't know 
I have some surprises. Uh, subscribe to the channel for the latest on Salminio and other great celebrities. Now the following uh, is a view from Bobby Sherman's home when, in 1987 when I first walked up that trek of the hill before I started doing my vlogs. That was before the cameras and videos, really before you had cell phones. And I walked up and I just took a few pictures just to say I saw the house. I didn't go on the tour. I walked myself up the heat of the beautiful hill. And I actually got a ride back down the street from one of his neighbors, a very nice gentleman in his beautiful Excalibur car, which is in a picture that's coming up. And that's at the bottom of the hill where he dropped me off back at the Sunset Boulevard and Sunset Plaza Drive. It's a nice walk. It's up a nice hill. Still can do it. No problem. No winded. Now, right here, you can see the way the mailbox used to look before they updated the uh, back of the house of the mailboxes. You can also see that there was no uh, greenery or shrubbery. It was more like desert-like on the flowers. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you the full thing so you can see the way that looked. And this was the former home of Bobby Sherman. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the ding bell, and leave a comment. Let us know what you think, what you want to see, who you'd like me to go out and vlog. Um, help get those watch time up. Subscribe and share this. This is now. We're just going to kind of get some views of it. See where they added the hedges right here. like 37, 36, 37 years. So, definitely a upgrade remodel.
about the best view we could get. This is still always home right here. Here we go. Here's a different angle of it. Hollywood Says, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, leave a comment, let us know what you think, Hollywood Says, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think, what you want to see, who would you like us to go out and see, check out some of our other celebrity home tours and celebrity graves, Hollywood Says, subscribe.